Hi everyone, welcome to Cornerstone Tea's YouTube channel. Today we are going to be turning our very own Blackberry Patch Tea into a lemonade, affectionately called around our neighborhood, the Patchy Palmer. Blackberry Patch is a black tea, meaning it is high caffeine relative to tea. It's still half the caffeine of coffee, but we want to be aware of that if caffeine is something you are sensitive to. And being a black tea, additionally, it also has a defined steeping time. So it requires boiled water, not, not sustained at a boil, but freshly boiled water, and needs to be sat in that water for about three minutes, no more than four. Um, otherwise, black teas have a propensity to get bitter. Now this entire one ounce package is going to go into use uh, to make the tea concentrate, which is the first step of making it into a lemonade. So let's get started. So step one to making the blackberry patch into a concentrate is add one full ounce of the tea to a measuring cup, at least two cup measuring cup. And to that, we will add one and one thirds cup of freshly boiled water. Black teas and herbals require freshly boiled water to extract their volatile compounds most effectively. And we're going to let this sit and steep, make sure all the leaves are hydrated, for about three minutes, no more than four. So as you can imagine, this tea, or this lemonade comes together pretty quickly. So first thing we're going to do, well, second technically, is we're going to add one full cup's worth of sugar to our vessel of choice. I have adapted this recipe from its normal large amount to fit in a half gallon mason jar, but you can use whatever vessel you like. And additionally to this sugar, we will add one cup of lemon juice. Now let's talk about lemon juice for a minute. So I highly recommend that you not use the squeezy bottle or from concentrate lemon juice for this recipe. You will definitely taste the difference and it will not be in a pleasant way. What I have found and is very commonly available here in the States is um, go jarred, bottled I should say, lemon juice with no preservative agents in it at all. This is perfect. I'm not a stickler for it being organic, but if you are, it's pretty widely available in this particular brand and others um, at my local Walmart. And I've seen it in several large grocery stores as well. So the quality of your ingredients with such a short ingredients list in your lemonade recipe makes a difference. Um, in this case, having preservative-free, high-quality lemon juice is going to really shine and pop in the end result. So pay attention to that sort of thing when you make this. And this recipe calls for a full cup, eight fluid ounces. Something I learned recently that I was not necessarily made aware of as a younger cook slash baker is liquid measuring devices and dry cup measuring devices uh, <laughs> measure differently. The one cup measures are for dry ingredients, the liquid ones are for liquid. And I used them fairly interchangeably when I was a kid. Subtle little things like this make a huge difference in my uh, kitchen adventures and I hope they do for you as well. And this one cup of lemon juice is going to be added to this one cup of sugar. No need to stir yet. We're going to get there though. So it's been about two and a half, three minutes for our tea. So you'll note that this is extremely strong. And we make it as such so that it dilutes down properly in a recipe of this size. You want to be able to taste the tea. If you, however, find a full one ounce to be a little too strong for your liking, or perhaps you're monitoring your caffeine intake, you could do about a half an ounce, half of a package, and achieve very similar results. Um, the great news about recipes like this is they're somewhat subjective. You can fuss with them and uh, make them suitable for your family. But for now, let's strain our tea. This is just a simple tea brewing basket. I use these commonly in my personal uh, tea brewing adventures, and I've attached a clothespin to it. Don't mind how old it looks. It's probably a decade old. Um, you can easily use a coffee filter, uh, 
popped down into your vessel and close um, rubber banded if you have that around or any other straining device you may decide to use. And the clothes pin is to keep it from slipping down into the jar and thus giving me the headache of having to strain out all those tea leaves. So because these leaves were dry and they have now hydrated and steeped, you're going to want to press them down to get all the little drips out of it. Most of the flavor is in those drips. Give what gets caught a little shaky shake. Voila. So at this point, we can give it a stir. This is just the lemon juice, the sugar, and the tea. But we're not done yet. So you're going to want to stir it until all the grit is gone. And it shouldn't be too difficult or too laborious at this stage because you have not only the hot tea, but the acid in the lemon juice working with you. So be patient. It won't take too long. And I can feel with my spoon there's no grit on the bottom, so we are dissolved. So let's take a pause here for a minute. You can, if you want, uh, freeze this concentrate mixture in a freezer safe container and thaw it slash melt it out when you need it uh, and then dilute it down with the um, accompanying four cups of water that's coming up here in a minute. The reason we freeze it at this stage is one, it takes up less room in your freezer and two, um, it makes it easier to uh, dilute down and it doesn't affect the flavor profile of the lemonade at all, but it's a great way to get ahead if you have like a large party and you want to start plan um, doing the food prep days in advance. So bear that in mind as the summer wears on. Having a few of these to pop out uh, when a guest pops by never hurts. So the next step and final step is going to be adding some water. Got most of it in there. Good job, Steph. Give it one more good stir, just for giggles, and your lemonade is ready. I will tell you in advance, though, it's better if you've let it sit in the fridge overnight. Uh, the flavors really have time to marry and get to know each other and develop. So bear that in mind if you are doing any kind of lemonade making. But for now, let's garnish.